Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we have to discuss about D flip flop to JK flip flop conversion in digital electronics course, STLD course, digital logic design course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about seven flip flop conversions. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivas Rao. Now, in this video, we have to, how to, we have to discuss about how to convert D flip flop to JK flip flop conversion. To convert from D flip flop to JK flip flop, we have to follow five steps. The first step is identify which one is the available flip-flop and which one is the required flip-flop among these two flip-flops. So here, whatever the given flip-flop is there, that flip-flop is called as available flip-flop. Here, D flip-flop is given. From that one, we have to find out JK flip-flop. So available flip-flop is D flip-flop and a required flip-flop is JK flip-flop. Here D flip-flop is called as a source flip-flop and a JK flip-flop is called as destination flip-flop or a desired flip-flop. Next one. So once we are completing the available flip-flop and a required flip-flop, then we can go for the second step. In the second step, construct a characteristic table of required flip-flop. Here, the required flip-flop is JK flip-flop. Now, we have to construct the characteristic table for required flip-flop. In that required flip-flop, two inputs are there. J is one input and K is another input. So, here J and K can be called as external inputs of the required flip-flop. So, here we have to write J and K are the external inputs. In addition to the external inputs, one more input is there. That input is Q of T. So, Q of T is the another input. Q of T can be called as present state or a previous output. Okay. From these three inputs, we have to find out the next state. Next state is called, can be called as Q of T plus 1. This can also be called as a present state. Present, uh, present output, sorry. Present output, that is the Q of T plus 1. Present state is Q of T and the present output or our next state can be called as Q of T plus 1. Now, here the total number of inputs are 3 n is equal to 3. With the 3 inputs, how many number of possible input combinations? 8 possible input combinations. So, that 8 possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, these are the 8 possible input combinations are there with the 3 inputs J, K and Q of T. By using these 8 possible input combinations, we have to find out the next state that is a Q of T plus 1 value for each and every possible input combination. So, here if J value is 0 and K value is 0 in the first row, okay, the next state is equal to the whatever the previous output or our present state value, that value can be obtained as the next state. So, this is what is the present state or our Q or a previous output value that is 0. The same output can be obtained as Q of A plus 1. Next one, here also J value 0, K value 0. Okay, whatever the previous output or our present state, 
that can be obtained as the next state or a present output. Next row, J value 0, K value 1, it is nothing but reset state. In the reset state, the output of the flip-flop value is 0. So, here J value is equivalent to S yes and K value is equivalent to R in SR flip-flop. Okay. Now, here J value 0, K value 1. So, it is like a reset state. In the reset state, the output of the flip-flop is 0. Next one, J value 1, K value 1. It is like a set state. If J is equal to S, yes, the output of the flip-flop is 1. Here, J value 1 and K value 0, it is also like set state, the output of the flip-flop is 1. Next one, J value is 1 and K value is 1, so whatever the previous output value is there, that previous output value or our present state value is complemented, 0 is complemented to 1. Next one, J value 1, K value 1. So, whatever the previous output value that is complemented, previous output value 1 that is complemented to 0. So, J value 0, K value 0, whatever the previous output value is there that can be obtained. J value 0, K value 1, it is like a reset state, it is like the output of the flip flop is 0. J value 1, K value 0, it is like set state, the output of the flip flop is 1. J value 1, K value 1, the previous output or our present state output value is complemented. 0 is complemented 1 and 1 is complemented to 0. So, if anybody wants, please refer the previous video that is the characteristic table of JK flip-flop. Okay. So, the first three, the first three columns represents the characteristic table of JK flip-flop. Characteristic table of required flip flop that is a JK flip flop. Okay. Next one. Next, we have to find out the last column. In the last column, flip flop input of available flip flop. Here, what is available flip flop? Available flip flop is D flip flop. Okay. In the D flip flop, only one input is there. So that is a D. So here, D is called as a flip-flop input and uh, external inputs are nothing but whatever the inputs are present in the required flip-flop, that inputs are the external inputs. Okay. Now, the last three columns and this column, this column and this column represents the excitation table of D flip-flop. Excitation table of D flip-flop. First three columns, this column, this column and this column represents the characteristic table of uh, required flip-flop that is a JK flip-flop. The last three columns represents the excitation table of available flip, available flip-flop. So that is a deep flip-flop. How we are getting the excitation table of deep flip-flop? Whatever the next state values are there, the same values we are getting at the excitation table of the flip-flop. So, we have to write 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, whatever the next state values are there, the next state values are becomes the D input value. Okay, D output value. Okay, here Q of T plus 1 value 0, D value 0. Q of T plus 1 value 1, D value 1. Q of T plus 1 value 0, D value 0. Q of T plus 1 value 0, D value 0. Q of T plus 1 value contains 3 ones. Here also 3 ones. Q of T plus 1 value 0 and D value is also 0. So, these the 3 columns represents the excitation table of D flip-flop. These are three columns represents the characteristic table of GK flip-flop. So, once we are constructing the characteristic table of uh, required flip-flop and uh, excitation table of available flip-flop, that is a D flip-flop, then we can go for step 4. In the step 4, we have to find out the Boolean expression for 
D input. Whatever the last column is there, in that last column, whatever the inputs are there, so by for that inputs, we have to write the Boolean expression using Carnap map. So which Carnap map we have to use for finding out the Boolean expression for D? So in this uh, table, what are the input columns are there? J, K and Q of T are the input columns. So how many number of variables are there? J, K and Q of T, that is a three variables. We have to use a three variable Carnap map for finding out the Boolean expression for D. So that is the three variable Carnap map. So Boolean expression for D. Boolean expression for D using three variable Carnap map. Three variable Carnap map. We already know that three variable Carnap map contains eight cells. So row side only one variable is there. Column side two variables are there. So row side variable becomes J and column side variable is K into Q of T. Okay. So row side only one variable is there. This variable can take zero value or one value. And uh, column side variables are two variables. These two variables can take either zero zero value or zero one value or one one value or one zero value. Here we have to write the gray code, not the uh, zero 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 one one zero one one. Here in the gray code, first zero zero, next zero one, next one one, next one zero. We have to write. Now, after constructing the three variable Carnap map, so observe the D column. In that D column, where the ones are present, only consider ones. Now, first we are considering ones only. In that, for this one, the corresponding input combination is 0, 0, 1. Here 0, here 0, 1. We are placing ones. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 0, 0. So here we are placing 1, 0, 0. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 0, 1. Here 1, here 0, 1. We are placing 1s. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 1, 0. Here 1, here 1, 0. Okay. So 4 1s are there. 4 1s are there in the 3 variable or not map. Now, how we are mapping these ones? Okay. So first, this one and this one can be formed as a pair. This one and this one can be formed as a pair. And this one and this one can be formed as a pair by folding the Carnap map in the middle from right to left for this one and this one are opposite or adjacent. So that these two ones can be formed as a pair. Okay. So what is the Boolean expression for this pair? So first we have to write the variables J into K into Q of T. For this one, what is the input combination is 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. Next. What is the, for this one? 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. So any column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. J column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. K column can be considered. It contains only zero values. And the Q of T column is considered. It contains only ones. In the K column, K value zero means we have to write K bar. In the Q of T column, Q of T contains one means. So only Q of T. Okay. Then, what is the Boolean expression for uh, this pair? So, J, K, Q of T. So, for this one, for this one, 1, 1, 0. Combination is 1, 1, 0. For this one, 1, 0, 0. Any column contains a combination of zeros and 1s. We have to ignore that column. 
K column is ignored, it contains zeros and ones. Q of T column considered, it contains only zero values. J column is considered, it contains only ones. So, what is the expression we are getting? In the J column, J value 1 means it is a J. In the Q of T column, Q of T value 0 means Q of T bar. So, this is the expression we are getting. So, the final expression is D is equal to. So, it is like the sum of products. So, first product is K bar into Q of T plus the second product is J into Q of T bar. So, this is the expression we are getting in the step 4. Now, once we are getting the Boolean expression, now we have to draw the circuit diagram. So, circuit diagram for circuit diagram for D to JK flip-flop conversion. D to JK flip-flop conversion. So here in this one, first we have to uh, write the flip-flop. What flip-flop we have to write? Whatever the available flip-flop. Whatever the available flip-flop, that flip-flop we have to write. So what is the available flip-flop here? D flip-flop. So that, so that we have to write the block diagram of D flip-flop. In the D flip-flop, so only one input is there, that is a D. And the outputs are, so here Q of T and here this is a Q of T bar. Now, so what is the value of D in the previous step? D is equal to K bar into Q of T and J into Q of T bar. So this is a J value. So J into Q of T bar. So here Q of T bar value here, I am taking Q of T bar value. So this is Q of T bar, Q of T bar value. Here this is a J value. These two inputs can be sended to one AND gate. This is a AND gate. J into Q of T bar. Next one K bar. So here K K bar is nothing but we have to write not gate. This becomes K bar and Q of T. So Q of T here is there. So here I am taking Q of T bar for Q of T. So this is a K bar and this is a Q of T. So these two inputs can be formed, uh, can be sent to AND gate. So K bar into Q of T. Okay. So, these two are added with the one R gate. So, this is one R gate. This is a R gate. Whatever the output is there, that output can be connected to D. Okay. So, here D is nothing but K bar. So, this is K bar into Q of T. So, this is a J into Q of T bar. J into Q of T bar. So, K, J into Q of T bar and K bar into Q of T can be sended to one R gate. Then, what is the output? K bar into Q of T plus J into Q of T bar. So, now we have to write clock. This is the clock input. So, this is the equivalent D to JK flip-flop conversion circuit diagram. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. 